Hello friends, here I will tell you how to find the happy relation quickly. See, what you have to do, you have to add the lone pair electron and bond pair electron which is present in a molecule. And if the sum comes 2, then the molecule will be ESP hybridized. If the sum is 3, then it is ESP2 hybridized. If the sum is 4, then it is ESP3. For 5, the hybridization will be ESP3D. For 6, the hybridization is ESP3D2. And for 7, ESP3D3 hybridization. Here is some examples. The first one is carbon dioxide. With carbon dioxide, here two bond pair electrons are present and no lone pair of electron is present. So total sum is 2 and this is why it is ESP hybridized with linear geometry. With beryllium chloride, here also we have two bond pair of electron and we don't have any lone pair of electron so it is also yes we have it as and HgCl2 here mercury has two bond pair of electron it don't have any lone pair of electron so the hydration is yes P. then for NO3- minus, here three bond pair electron and here we don't have any lone pair of electron so total sum is 3 and it is ESP2 hybridized for AlCl3, for SO3 and BS3, for all these molecules, the bond pair electrons are 3 with no any lone pair of electrons. So each of the molecules is sp 2 hybridized with trigonal planar geometry. Now, this sulfur dioxide, NO2- and SnCl2, in all these molecules, here we have two bond pair of electrons and lone pair of electron. With this condition, the sum is 3 and it is ESP2 hybridized but because of this one lone pair of electron, its geometry is V-shaped. ClO4- minus, SO4-2- minus, SiCl4 all these have 4 bond pair of electron and don't have any lone pair of electron so the hybridization is sp3 and the geometry is tetrahedral. Here ns3, tco3, these are all the elements of magnetic phosphorus, these are elements of the 15th group which can have one lone pair of electron and these three are the bond pair of electron so the sum is 3 plus 1 that makes 4. Again it is sp3 hybridized but because of one lone pair of electron, its geometry become pyramidal rather than tetrahedral. Then oxygen and sulfur, these are the element of 16th group of the periodic table, which have two lone pair of electron, and here we have two bond pair of electron. So this two and two that makes four. These two here oxygen and sulfur both are ESP3 hybridized, but the geometry is bent because of presence of these two lone pair of electron. For halogens, these are the element of 17th group and this can have three lone pair of electron. So here we have one bond pair and three lone pair of electron. The sum comes four. The geometry is linear because of only one bond pair of electron. Now, SF4 and PCL5 each have the sum of lone pair and bond pair of electron is 5 and the hybridization is sp3d and sp3d but in case of sf4 here one of the lone pair of electron is present so its geometry is reported as c sa geometry and for pcl5 it is trigonal bipyramidal geometry here efc of 6 6 bond pair we don't have any lone pair of electron so the total sum is 6 and the hybridization is found to be sp3d2. For xcf 4 <coughs> there is 4 bond pair and 2 lone pair of electron. The sum is 6 and it is sp3d2 hybridized. For xcf 6 there is 6, lone, 6 bond pair electron and 1 lone pair of electron. The sum comes 7 so it is sp3d3 hybridized by using all this trick 
you can find not only the correct hybridization but also you can predict the exact symmetry of a molecule thank you